just got to work. Um, I was gonna do a video about my what my day looks like, kind of. Um, so you, I'm not gonna film myself getting ready because that's you know pretty uh, easy. I don't need to film that. But I'm walking into work right now, so I'll do a little vlog of you know what I do in the mornings before seeing patients. Okay, so I'll start by explaining um, how my day works. So I come in, I get coffee, as you saw, and maybe like a snack, either a banana, cereal, nutritional bars. And then I'll go in and I'll start reviewing patients that I either had from previously, or if I get new patients, I review their chart. I kind of catch up on what's been going on in their you know, medical process and set up a soap note. So a soap note is basically a really, really quick summary of about the patient, how they're doing, what their physical exam findings are, how they're feeling, and basically an assessment and plan of, you know, what, what the treatment plan is going to be like for today for them. After that, I'll have lunch and then maybe study a little bit. I don't know, maybe catch up on notes that were put in from other um, physicians, so like consults, like interventional radiology, nephrology, any notes that they put in just to catch myself up and be more up to date on that. And then I'll meet with my physician, present the patients, and then we'll just talk about either the pathology behind their diseases, so, you know, liver disease, you know, that's it. That's basically the end of my day. Hey guys, so I just got out of one of my shifts. I'm pretty much in the middle of internal med rotation right now. Um, and it's going so much better than the beginning. I'm loving my doctors that I've been following and they've been really nice, really down to earth um, and just really helpful. And the doctor that I'm with right now, just you can tell that he loves teaching and it really helps the learning experience as well. So I'm really happy right now. I can see myself improving in like, you know, um, presenting patient cases, which is honestly harder than what it looks like. I always thought it was easy because everybody always made it look easy. But once I tried it, I was just a disaster about it. Um, but now I think I'm getting the hang of it. I'm not perfect, obviously, um, but I'm really learning a lot from my mentors and my preceptors and it's going well so far. So I'll continue to update you guys. So yeah, it's Friday. I work tomorrow, but it's my last weekend. Um, I might have to go now because I forgot where I parked. Okay, bye. Hi guys. So I just got off of my shift today. It's 2.30. It's a little earlier than expected, but not going to complain. So I decided to do a quick video. Um, I couldn't really record much today because it's been pretty hectic and um, I was with a new physician today, so I have new physicians every Tuesday that I follow. So Tuesdays are a little hectic just because I have to get used to my new physician and what he or she likes to do and more accustomed to their schedule. Off right now and I'm sitting in the area where I usually have lunch. Um, so I thought I can do a video explaining how my day goes, explaining what I have in my white coat. I think that would be a pretty a useful video. Some more details about the internal med rotation, especially when I'm nearing the end of my rotation, I'll give like a overview and what I thought about the rotation, some tips for people going into internal med, what I think were really important to know coming in and what I wish I would have known coming in. But I'm gonna move on to what I keep in my white coat. So as you can see, uh, this is a white coat. I just realized that I'm wearing the same lemon shirt as my previous video, whatever. Okay, so then you also have a stethoscope. Um, basically your number one tool that you'll use. Uh, listen to belly, listen to heart, listen to lungs. Have three pens. Keep your pens handy. I'm a pen person, I don't really like pencil. So, favorite pen ever. This highlighter just got in here today because I was reading. So I don't usually keep a highlighter, you can keep one chapstick always need to have chapstick because I can't focus if my lips are dry and they're cracked so this is a must for me so now I'm going in my pocket I have a little notebook that I never use um, I don't know why I have it 
this I've had this for like three years and I've only used a couple pages uh, because I have something else I use more than that um, this is a poem that I was given it's by Robert Frost it's called meeting and passing um, I got it during my UCLA summer rotation uh, I sat in on rounds and I guess this was the theme you can look up that poem and uh, you'll know what I mean got some hand lotion so you know I also don't like dry hands so I need that for my writing uh, skills <laughs> um, this is really cool this is my most favorite thing to have in my white coat uh, this was given to me it's called Maxwell quick medical reference by my a friend and she happens to be a lab tech and a soon-to-be nurse so she gave this to me before starting my third year med medical school rotations so it basically has everything you need to know about anything it has common ecg rhythms it has normal lab values it has helpful equations it has unit conversions it has everything that you have to know about notes so when you write a note in the electronic medical record or if you write it freehand it has everything you need to ask so format of a soap note of a discharge note of an on-service note of an admission note super helpful also notes for like you know ob gyn so delivery notes postpartum notes an apgar scoring exam um, developmental milestones immunization scheduling like when you should get those um, so that's really helpful if you're on your ob gyn rotation what I use the most is the history and physical exam uh, section. It's this blue section. So it basically has everything you need to ask, everything you need to look for in a history and physical exam, which is what you're gonna be doing most of your third year, you know? So I always look back at this. And then it's got a special section for neuro. So a neuro exam, mental status exam, things like that. It's got like the dermatomes. Well, it's also got the eye chart i don't know the medical term for the eye chart i should but it's got this and it's got a ruler um so super super helpful next is what is this a sticker with my name on it from belmont village senior living also from when i was at ucla i should throw that away probably and then i have this yellow paper which kind of has my you know kind of format of a focus history and physical um it's just you know super quick notes for myself to you know if i ever need to write a focus history and physical i just look at that um of course a fabricated face mask i usually like the blue ones um more than the fabric ones floss because you need floss you know you get stuff stuff stuck in your teeth you don't want to be talking to patients and you especially don't want to be talking to doctors with stuff in your teeth, okay? This is small, keep it in your white coat. I've only used it once. <laughs> okay, and then I also have an uh, eyeglass cleaner because uh, I have glasses and I hate when there's a smudge on them and it, I just can't see anything and it bothers me and I don't like to use my shirt because it can ruin the glasses. I know. Okay, so other than some irrelevant trash and tissues that I'm gonna throw away, that is what I keep in my white coat. Um, and that is my day so far, and that's how my days have been going in internal med. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, next video should be towards the end of the rotation, like I said, and I'll do a full recap of like a Yelp review of internal med here um, at the hospital that I did. And I'll try to just make it more general for everyone. Uh, basically my experience and tips and tricks and what you need to know and what you should know. I hope it helps you. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Subscribe and like.